Hello guys, uh, welcome back. This is your math exam coach. Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Uh, today's topic is some topic that is pretty common in the national exams of different uh, countries. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, matrices uh, and matrix manipulations. Uh, but before we get into that, answering the question uh, please make sure that uh, we like and subscribe to this channel uh, and share with others if you are an existing uh, viewer welcome back uh, make sure you like the content you give us your feedback and make sure to share it um, with other people as well so let's jump into the question right away uh, so here uh, we're given two matrices uh, a and uh, B. Uh, what we need to uh, first understand is that uh, A is a 2 by 3 matrix, so it's two rows and three columns, whilst B uh, is a 3 by 3, 3 by 3 matrix. matrix. That's how we find the, uh, the dimensions of a matrix. Uh, the number of rows and the number of columns. So, so it's row times column. That's the the dimensions there. So the first question that we have, we want to find uh, the transpose of A. Before we we answer that, we can simplify this um, by defining a general uh, metric. Uh, let's let's define a general matrix X, which is um, A, B, C, uh, D, E, F. So we do have a, a two by three, uh, and in order for us to to get the X transpose here, what we are doing when we are getting the transpose, we are changing this. Uh, the dimensions of this matrix into we know that it should be a 3 by 2 right so how do we do that so using a b c and d we want to um, convert uh, the rows uh, the rows into columns and uh, vice versa so what we are going to do is that this becomes one row uh, b and e becomes another row and so now we have two rows so in the transpose we're going to have two columns so the transpose is going to be um, a and d here uh, is going to be another uh, is going to be a row uh, then we go to the next one b and e so B, E, uh, and then we have C, F. So now we have a 3 by, we have a 3 by 2. Uh, so once we have that, we can simply take the first one, um, the first question here, which is 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 0. To get the transpose, we are going to uh, do what we did here, which is now giving us um, we have three, we have four, two, three, then we have one and zero. So the first answer here will be three, four, two, three. One zero. Right, so that's the that's the the transpose that we we need, and then the the next question um, which we are going to solve on the next uh, slide is a multiplication of A and B, and we are going to represent that as a single matrix. Okay, so. So here we are trying to get, uh, that's the second question, uh, A and B. Right. We're already given A. We know what A is. 
uh, is 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 0. And B uh, is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0. Right, so we have a 2 by 3 and a 3 by 3 matrix. Uh, when we multiply these two, uh, so this has to be common. Um, it has to have the same number of columns uh, for one column. The number of columns for one matrix should be equal to the rows of the other. So the resultant here, uh, the resultant matrix A, B, is going to be a 2 by 3. It's going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. So let's see how we, we do that. So for each number that we have in this matrix, so we're going to multiply each column uh, of B and sum that uh, by the rows of A. So let's rewrite this. So I'm going to write a, a, a long matrix here. So it's going to be 3 multiplied by 1. So this 3 multiplied by this 1 plus 2 by 3. This 2 multiplied by 3 plus 1 multiplied by 0. So that's the first, that's the first value here. So we, we can go to the, uh, to the next column here. It's going to be the same again. So it's 3 by 2 plus 2 by 2 plus 1 by 1. Uh, then we go to the third one, which is 3 by 3 plus 2 by 1 plus 1 by 0. Right, so, so we're done with the first row. So we go to the second one. It's going to be 4 by 1 plus 3 by 3 plus 0 uh, by 0. We go to the second column. It's going to be 4 by 2 plus 3 by 2 plus 0 by 1. And lastly, it's going to be 4 by 3 plus 3 by 1 plus 0 by 0. Right. So this simplifies to, now we're just simplifying these sums. So this is 3 plus 6 plus 1. So we have um, 3 plus 6 plus 0. Um, then the second column is 3 times 2, 6. Um, we have uh, 6 plus 4 plus 1. Uh, then we have 9 plus 2 plus 0. That's the first one. Then we have 4 plus 9. Uh, then we have 8 plus 6 uh, plus 0. Then we have 12 plus 3 plus 0. So this simplifies to oh, 3 plus 6, 9, 6 plus 4 plus 1, it's 11, 9 plus 2, that's 11, 4 plus 9, that's 13, 8 plus 6 plus 0, that's 14, 12 plus 3, that's 15. Uh, so therefore, this is equals to AB. Right, so we can... Uh, we can come back here and have our solution as 9, 11, 11, 13, 14, and 15. Awesome. So we've solved these two questions. Um, if you like the content, make sure you like and you subscribe to the channel. And also make sure to share it with others as well. So we keep growing our community. Until next time, uh, goodbye for now.